I'm coming at you today with a mission and outreach opportunity, a way that you can, even in the comfort of your homes, being physically distant from one another, show some mercy for the least of these in our society. I learned this morning that our friends at Stewart Detention Center have been doing a hunger strike because of the ways that policies and laws around how detention centers are operated vary from state to state and are very convoluted. Um, it's been reported that Stewart Detention Center does not really have a plan for the detainees during this pandemic. Um, and the nature of detention centers and how people are held together makes it so that they can't maintain that six foot physical distant distance from one another. I, you know, I didn't think about it until this morning, just how much of a privilege it is to be able to follow along with those guidelines and those policies from the CDC and that I can maintain that physical distance and protect the people around me. There's some things we can do to help them during this time of fear and uncertainty. The way that anxiety and fear around a virus like this are just magnified when you're detained. Through El Refugio, we'll be joining in a letter writing campaign. Um, I'm asking you if you, even if you're a little rusty on your Spanish or a little rusty on your French, Pull out your pen and a piece of paper and write a note of encouragement to someone in detention. I'll be posting some guidelines and some suggestions for how to do that in the comments, as well as instructions on how to get them to me so that I can collect them and send them on down to Georgia. There's a uh, predominantly Spanish population in the Stewart Detention Center, but there are some French speakers and many folks who are trying to learn English. So even some notes in English would be lovely. These are fearful times for our friends. There are more than 2,000 people in the Stewart Detention Center and they are 20 miles from the nearest hospital. They are afraid of getting sick. They are afraid of what it will do to their health and they're afraid that they won't be helped appropriately and in time. St. Martin's, let's send them some love. Let's send them some encouragement. And let's let them know that even in times like these, they are not forgotten.